It's that time again, time for another low carb cocktail. I'm Frank, the low carb cocktail guy. Now, it's that time of year, time for that special loved one in your life, that special person, your life partner, your soulmate, that your one and only. Mine, I talk about her all the time, Kelly, the low carb cocktail gal, as I like to call her. Um, we've been married 25 years this year. I think it's 25, I think it's 25 this year. Um, <laughs> married a long time and I love her with all my heart and I'll do, I, I'll do anything for her. Um, so guys, um, so this cocktail is for a very special someone in your life. And I call this cocktail the Cupid's Kiss. And if you're local here in Louisiana and you're lucky enough to get your hands on some JT Melick Rice Vodka, that's gonna be the difference in this cocktail. You can use any vodka that you get your hands on, that's fine, uh, but JT has that special little something at the back end of it, um, being a rice vodka and not over distilled to where it's tasteless. It's got a little sweet little nuance added to it, which is beautiful. So we're gonna enhance this cocktail with JT Melick. Use your favorite vodka. Um, I, I prefer JT Melick because that's just that sweet little body it has on it. So again, this is my Cupid's Kiss and I'm kinda gonna start with you guys. So the first thing you need to do is you need to prep this in advance. Like, go shopping. You're gonna have to shop for this because you're gonna need a cookie cutter. This is the time of year, it's pretty easy to find some heart-shaped cookie cutters. The ones I got, it's like a five pack with all different shapes because you're gonna need one, the smallest one in the shape of a heart because look, we have Cupid's Arrow. Yes, Cupid's Arrow. So I took a little heart-shaped uh, cookie cutter and I stamped out a lemon peel um, with it and I put it on a skewer and um, mine is a little Florida Lee skewer because we're here in Louisiana. Um, JT Mellet Cajun style vodka, a Cajun rice vodka, but it's made here in the heart of Cajun land. Um, so we want a little heart shaped uh, a lemon on a skewer so it looks like Cupid's arrow. So you need, you're gonna need that. You need a heart shaped cookie cutter to start this with. Um, it, it really, it enhances the presentation 100%. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Shit, I forgot ice. <laughs> Be right back guys. One day, one day I'm gonna shoot a video and not forget something. Maybe I need Adderall, I don't know. So <laughs> let's get started. So we're gonna start with two ounces of our JT Melly Vodka or vodka of your choice. Um, we're gonna go ahead and build this out. Oh, Jigger, right here. So we're gonna go with two ounces of your favorite vodka. Next, we're gonna go with one ounce of from some fresh lemon juice, one ounce of some allulose simple syrup, or a sweetener of your choice. If you like Splenda, make your simple syrup with your Splenda. I'm not gonna come after you. So next, we gotta make it pink. A little bit of Diet Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice. We do one and a half ounces of this. One and a half ounces. Pretty, pretty color. Now, this is something else. If you wanna add it, um, I would highly suggest um, that you go to infusespirits.com or Infuse Bitters. Um, and pick this up. This is their Tiki Bitters. It's got a really nice um, hibiscus uh, flavor to it, which really enhances this cocktail. And you can do it without, I've actually done this with some orange bitters and that works you know, pretty good. Uh, but I tried it with this infused um, tropical tiki, yeah, tropical tiki um, bitters. Boom. This goes from a 10 to a 23 just by adding these bitters. So we're gonna go ahead and add one eye drop, because it comes with a little eye drop already. So we're gonna go with one, two dashes of the Tiki Bitters. Oh my God, that smells so good. That smells so good. It's got a nice little purple color to it, um, a little reddish purple, and ooh, that looks so good. So we're gonna add some ice to our other shaker. Put all this together, 
and give it a good hella shake. Right. And if you hadn't seen it yet, I did a little video recently. Um, I might not. It might not be out yet. <laughs> I can't. I don't know if I'm putting this one out first or not. But um, some bar bartending, uh, home bartending 101. Um, how to shake a little section on how to shake a cocktail in there. Check that out. Really enhances your flavor, not just chills it, um, but it also dilutes it, aerates it, gives it a nice texture. So uh, check out that video. So in a Nicky Nora glass, which I should have a chilled and uh, let's pretend. Oh, in a chilled cocktail glass, Nicky Nora glass. We're gonna double strain this because we shook the shit out of this. There's a lot of broken ice chips in here. So we use our fine mesh strainer and our Hawthorne strainer and pour that in there. There you go. Yeah, there's a little bit of ice on it. Let's put this aside. And for that garnish we talked about, uh, if y'all see this, I can't see it. Purple margarita. I think I'm gonna do that video next. I think I'm gonna put this one out first. So you're probably gonna see this one before the purple margarita or before the bar tips 101. But again, take your little cocktail pick, put it right on top. And there you have the Cupid's Kiss. All right, guys, gals, if this doesn't help you out with your significant other, <laughs> you got bigger problems. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's see how this works. I already know. I've had this already. Oh! You make two of these, someone's getting lucky. So guys, man, that's, that's. Basically, it's a cranberry lemon drop. Ratio swapped out a little bit. Um, so vodka, lemon juice, simple syrup. That's your, that's your main ingredients of a lemon drop. Throw some cranberry juice on it. And this, this infused tropical tiki bitters really, really steps up your game. So I would highly recommend you grab some of this stuff. I can't speak highly enough of this. Like I said, I've done it without any bitters. I've done it with some orange bitters and I've done it with this. This is a game changer. Uh, that with the JT Mellick. And again, if you're in Louisiana, by all means, you have to use JT Mellick for this cocktail. I promise you it won't be the same with, with Tito's or somebody else. This, is, this ramps up your cocktail. This cocktail with anybody else's vodka, I'd put it at about uh, mm, uh, seven or eight. JT Mellick, solid 10. You add this Tiki Bitters to it, brings it to a 23. So that's it for me. Um, I hope I helped you out. Um, <laughs> for Valentine's Day, guys and, and girls. I always say guys is generic and it's just something we do here in the South. Um, so that's it. And uh, guys, if, if y'all are in a position to support me financially, um, I do have a Patreon page, a link in the description below. Um, and anything that's down in my description, that's an Amazon link. Those are affiliate links. So uh, help a brother out. All right, guys, as always, y'all have a good day. Cause after you make this one, <laughs> You will be having a good day. See y'all later. Cupid's kiss. Man. That is so good. Mm. Wait. If you're stuck around to the end, let's see something. I'm going to spill the fuck out of this, but I have an idea. You can make it a shooter. Cupid's Kiss Shooter. Here you go. Oh! <laughs> See y'all later, guys.